Every ground realistic battle lineup requires a plane that is able to attack ground targets. It helps both in early game, when you need to clear enemy positions to let your allies capture points, and late game, when there are not many players left and it becomes difficult to find remaining enemies since they can be anywhere on the map at this point. So when I started researching a Japanese tank tech tree, I knew that I needed at least one good plane in my lineup. And that is a responsible choice to make, we are not playing games here. Out of all planes, Ki-32 in my opinion is one of the best choices early on because it's so universal that meets most criteria that I found to be important to be useful in realistic ground battles. First of all, it has a very low battle rating, 1.3, so is suitable with any tank lineup. Only reserve tanks will have smaller rating. Also, T-32 is one of the first bombers in Tech Tree, so you don't need to play other game modes to unlock it. Just a few flights with reserve biplanes will be enough to complete the research, and you will have a decent plane with bombs available from the start. When talking about plane characteristics, in ground realistic battles, it's very important to have forward-facing machine guns. They can be used to destroy unprotected open-top vehicles or at least mark opponents for your allies. T-32 has one such machine gun. It is low caliber, has only 200 rounds in total and is mounted off-center on the left wing so it can be a little more tricky to aim, but nevertheless it gets the things done. After all, this is a bomber, not a fighter. Even one weak forward-facing machine gun is better than having none at all. Just imagine how complicated it would be if you had only a tail gunner to attack ground targets. Bomber's main option when it comes to attacking ground units is, you guessed it, bombs. One of the reasons I like to have this plane in ground battles lineup is its ability to attack multiple opponents with multiple bombs. Of course, one big bomb is good, but it only works when opponents are concentrated in one spot, and that mostly happens at the beginning of a match when everyone is focused on capturing points for the first time and had no time to spread out around the map. And I need a universal plane that stays useful up to the latest stages of the battle. As soon as the plane is bought, you will have an option to take 9 50kg bombs. You can drop them 7 times, since the first two launchers will drop bombs under the wings in pairs and then you'll have 5 inside the aircraft that can be let go one by one. Potentially, full load can result in 7 kills, but I found 50kg bombs to be a little unreliable. Maybe with a more maneuverable fighter it would be ok, but the key 32 flight path can be difficult to adjust, especially when making last second corrections on fast moving targets. And you need to be higher above the ground if you don't want to crash. And if I have to drop multiple bombs for reliability, what is the point to have that many smaller bombs? So I mostly stuck with 100 kg bombs as soon as required modification was researched. The plane can carry only 4 of those, they are also attached under the wings, but unlike with 50kg ones, you can launch them one by one. It still allows you to engage multiple targets, but this time it's more reliable, and when opponents stay close to each other, every now and then you will do double kills. Bomb's fuse should be as short as possible so that opponents have no time to react and you don't have to predict moving target's location in advance. When using 100kg bombs, I set the fuse to 1 second. In general, it should be enough to avoid damaging yourself with your own explosives, unless you fly slowly and very close to the ground. But even then, the blast probably won't kill you. Another reason why I prefer a bit bigger bombs is that I don't survive that long in battle to make full use of large quantity of smaller ones. Sometimes I don't even have time to drop 4 bombs if enemy fighter gets on my tail. And even if early on enemy planes won't have that much firepower, the Ki-32 has no armor at all. 
even low caliber machine gun bullets will fly through the plane, easily damaging crew and putting on fire fuel tanks, none of which are self-sealing. Once you catch fire, the crash is imminent. And there is not much you can do to defend yourself against enemy fighters. Since the bomber is in most cases slower than its opponents, you cannot escape, and only really inexperienced pilots can be outmaneuvered. Which sometimes happens, since we are talking about very low battle rating vehicle here, but in all other cases, you will have three options. First, rely on a gunner that controls twin low caliber machine gun. It might not be very effective, but at least it will keep fighters on your tail under pressure, force them to keep their distance and maybe win you some time. Second, lure opponents closer to the ground and drop bombs. In perfect scenario, you want to drop bomb on enemy tanks so that blast hits both ground vehicle and enemy fighter on your tail, though you have to remember that Ki-32 doesn't have armor so you don't have much time to search for targets once the fighter gets on your 6. And third option? Rely on your teammates in anti-aircraft vehicles. Which basically leaves us with only the first two options. I found Ki-32 to be one of the best planes to start your journey in Japanese tech tree when playing ground realistic battles. It has low battle rating, good at bombing multiple enemy tanks, not very good but suitable to attack open top vehicles with machine gun, and even has some limited capacity to defend itself from enemy fighters. In other words, quite useful for this game mode. Since you made it to the end, you must really like the random guy on the internet to tell you obvious things that you can read in a vehicle stat card anyway. Somewhere in one of the tabs that now open, there's a whole playlist of similar videos where various planes provide close ear support in ground realistic battles. 